Tell us. Well, let's have a look at how we can do that. The key thing for me is to take those requirements and then to see you know, how I can explore my product and my prototype um, so I can investigate further. There should be so a let's video. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Again? There's a magic word, just take a look, you'll see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I can do is I can actually um, look at those requirements and navigate through the proposal I have for this uh, uh, project and look at both the system view of my, uh, uh, my scanner as well as the physical aspect. Doing this is really quite unique for me. You know, I can see all of the information very quickly and I'm much closer to the people who make the real decisions. I can navigate across the logical view of my project, of my product, sorry, and really understand how I can connect the Wi-Fi into the system that I have already inside the scanner. I already connect PCs and, and mobile phones, so I should be able to integrate the software for the Wi-Fi inside my device. Now, Dominic has already found a possible Wi-Fi card for me, so I can take that from the catalog and then start to work with it inside my, um, my proposal. Now, when we work with that component, of course, we're not just looking at the, the physical card. We also can connect the software to the control bus and also we want to connect it to the power. One of the key challenges that I face when I'm creating one of these products is really validating all of these different components when they come together. And with this V6, with Katia V6 here, you can see how I have the, the, PC, uh, the, the Wi-Fi board plus the logical view for me to consider all the different aspects. So I've placed the uh, Wi-Fi card. And now what I want to do is really think about the experience for my customer. Whenever he's using the scanner, you know, he has to consider how long the battery life is, whether the product is nice to use, and really how he could use that in his environment. And with the V6 uh, environment, of course, I can also manage the simulation of that behavior. And in this case, what I want to do is make sure that by adding the Wi-Fi card, I am not killing the battery life. Because we all know the problem of if you have a laptop where the battery is always going flat. For me, it's important that my guys are independent and my users are independent when they are using the, the device. So I can see directly inside the, the, the simulation environment, inside the Katia systems, that the battery life will be okay. The, the, the performance is not uh, uh, degraded too much. And we can start to think about how we would manage the packaging of the Wi-Fi card. The key point, that casing is the most expensive component for tooling and lead time on the product. I do not want to make changes to the external shape if I can avoid it. So using V6, I can collaborate directly with the casing designer you know, through the, um, on the heads up display, so we can consider how we will place the Wi Fi part inside the casing. And I hope it will fit. So, by bit working together in this way, we can share the same view of the data, know it's the latest information, and also share a common v uh, viewpoint. By doing that, we can then discuss, we can share our ideas about where the card could live. And for me, it could either be in the handle or just above the battery. For simplicity, it would be better if the Wi-Fi card is near the, the battery. Easy to connect and easy integration into the control board. So that's the decision we can make together. And then moving the component is very simple, of course. And with Katia, we are, of course, validating that the space is accurate and there are no additional changes to the molding because that would be cost and lead time. So for the Wi-Fi, I think we're happy. We've integrated the system. We've checked that we can fit the, uh, the selected board. So I think we're okay. Now, to look at Dominique's problem of uh, uh, people stepping on it, 
we consider two options. One is to make the product bright yellow, which might help, but also we could look at strengthening the uh, uh, part itself. To understand how we could do that, we can use the, the simulation environment, Simulia v6 and design site, to look at the assembly, which is that external casing. Doing that's very easy, but the technology and the saving to us of doing it this way is massive. We're using a nonlinear solver, which apparently means it's hot complex, and the, on automatically understanding the connection between the, the different parts of the, uh, the shell. Then, directly inside the application, we just tell it how the uh, product would sit on the, on the floor. And we consider how would be the effect and the load created by somebody standing on it. Now, in reality, that load will be 100 kilos, but I think from, a, from an American, you get 100 pounds, so yes. <laughs> so we'll add the, uh, the constraint there and apply that onto the face. The key thing is we're trying to understand very quickly where are the problems in our design so that we can improve that as early as possible without us spending more money on physical prototypes. So from that view, we can see that we've applied the load and now we have the, the impact of that. Now the casing is moving nearly eight millimeters. I'm sure you can imagine the damage that would do to the components inside and it's understandable that we get some uh, uh, cracking in the outer casing. But that's the view from my analysis guy. The value of V6 is that we can now collaborate directly with the casing designer to solve that problem. And using um, plastic features that are already defined inside Katia, we can place the right kind of feature very quickly and also uh, maintain all the right wall thickness. So you see the views for the designers managed and the analysis is updated accordingly. Now we're only getting less than four millimeters of deformation. So I'm confident that will be okay. So we've reviewed the, the Wi-Fi connector and we can do that. And we've improved the stress of the uh, casing. So Bruno, yes, I think we can do it.